If you have one of these monsters, just raise it for your PvP. Hello guys, my name is Storyteller, I remember, so you don't have to. I'm a partner streamer of Summon of the World Chronicle, and today I'm gonna review about which monster is good in PvP. It's some kind of like a tier list, so many of players asked me to which net 5 is good or can you tell me PvP tier list? Yeah, but you know, it's very hard to decision. So I decided to review about PvP tier, just see the ranking board. As you know, the ranking board means which net 5 monsters are good in PvP. So let's find the look together. First is Challenged Arena. My rank is 12. In Korea, my server, Rakan. The ranking 1 is the Kina, Fire Kina. He used Water Vampire Hunter, Dark Undine, Light Archangel. As you see, Dark Undine is very good resurrection monster. If you don't have light and dark resurrection monster, you can only use, as you see, Vanessa. Anyway, the Dark Undine is good resurrection character. Light Archangel, he is the tanker but has a taunt only single target. So I think he is not good but he is very hard. He can heal, he erase the beneficial effect and he revenge for his passive skill. Next is Vanessa, the fire Valkyrie. He is the easy to get resurrection monster and have a defense down and attack up and resurrection. Most of uh, people in Korean server use Vanessa for resurrection. And this is the Fire Panda. Of course, he's an Oruvia player, so he must use a uh, Water Beetle Knight or Fire Panda. Fire Panda is good tanker because he have a wide area per book and it costs just 3 mana. And this is the Vampire Hunter. I know that this character isn't released in global server. He have an increased rate passive, so you need to only take critical rate for 70%. Or his skill can remove a beneficial effect, so you know, cliff endurance or water effect endurance, just erase and kill it. He can. And otherwise, or defense up, or shield, there are lots of beneficial effect in PvP, but Water Vampire Hunter can erase it and also give additional damage. And Light Polakin is specialized for make annoying other summoners. Her first skill is decrease the mana of enemy summoner or increase the skill cooldown. And her second skill, in spite of consuming the summoner's HP, but it can get ultimate gauge and decrease the skill cooldown nearby team members. So as you see, there are two healers and resurrection so he can use his ultimate skill really really fast and fire oracle is also specialized with remove all harmful effects it is pretty annoying because you know a town or attack down defense down there are so many debuffs in pvp but fire oracle can change it for summoner's mana. So if you are Dark Orbia or use many debuffs, the Fire Worker gain mana really 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 fast. So as you see, get lots of mana, ultimate gauge, so it is very hard to break down. Light Chimera. I really hate this monster because as you see, his first skill Increase the target skill cooldown and knockback. I hit this skill 3 times so my vampire hunter can't use his skill because cool time doom 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 and die. And his second skill is unbelievably overpower I think. Because damage based on its max HP and apply silence and airborne and also mana regeneration speed up. So like uh, light polar queen, if you use light chimera, your mana regeneration is so quickly and it means you can use 
your ultimate skill very quickly. And this is uh, Usa. I guess most of people already know it is good, but he is very specialized in healing. Shield, immunity, continuous recovery, and additional continuous recovery. Although Usa mana cost is a little bit heavy, but its healing, its immune, and its shield is very useful in PvP. And let's see, the Light Sky Dancer. I fight with this guy, and <laughs> as you see, the Blade Pen. Increase mana cost with a certain chance if the target is an enemy summoner. When I fight with Light Sky Dancer, I can easily see my mana cost be a 7 or 8. I'm not kidding. And her second skill is also very very good healing skill. Although it can't remove harmful effect, but as you see, applies mana regeneration speed up, recovers HP, decrease the skill cooldown. It's very very good skill. And Dark Cobalt. Most of Cobalt isn't good, but except Dark Cobalt is pretty good in PvP. It can remove two beneficial effects and silence, and also create a loud roar, decrease the cool time of his second skill. So if you meet Dark Cobalt, his second skill frequency is really often. So your beneficial effects remove, remove, and you get a silence, you get a damage. He's pretty annoying. And ranking number 6, this is the Wind Monkey King. I also use him very well. He can remove beneficial effect and also attack speed up. And his flat hit have a chance to additional skill. And his second skill can defense down. And his Storm Monkey passive can counter attack. If enemy have a loss of water attribute monster, the Wind Monkey King is one of the best choice. And as you talk to me, the Light Pioneer OP character now. In Korea server, most of users admire Light and Dark 3 monster. That is, Dark Mermaid, Dark Undine, and Light Pioneer. These monsters have a resurrection. If you have this monster, you have an additional select to resurrection. It is very good when you play Brawl Arena. The enemy have Fire Valkyrie, then you have no choice to resurrection. But if you have Light Pioneer or Dark Mermaid or Dark Undine, you can replace it. And the next is Joker, Dark Joker. He is one of my favorite monsters, but I don't have. His first skill is applies bombs, but bombs isn't good. And second skill is steals or beneficial effect and apply a block beneficial effect. And also, he can apply on recoil lover with a certain chance if the target does not have a beneficial effect. So, he steals or beneficial effect and block beneficial effect and unrecoverable is very critical. So I think he's good in PvP, but I don't have. And this is a Light Beetle Knight. As I said in my video, he's a good tanker who have the immunity to provoke, remove a beneficial effect when attacked by an enemy, and his first skill can remove beneficial effect and also block beneficial effect, and his second skill level up all beneficial effect and provoke enemy within wide area and also applies continuous recovery. As I said in video, it is very critical combined with Dark Poroquin. Dark Poroquin is very very good wide area dealer. She have a two wide area skills and her second skill the critical damage of this attack increased greatly if Kolakin has over a certain percent level of damage dealt up. The damage dealt up is very critical buff. Dark Polakin have a passive, so if team member attacked, she can apply damage dealt up herself. And as I said, second skill to increase the level of all beneficent effect. So you can easily see her passive on level 10. Damage deal to level 10. It is a fucking nightmare. And you can see the Lupinus. She was an OP when the ignores the target's beneficial effect, can ignore the endurance, but after patch, can't deal damage to endurance, so her tier is slightly down. 
If the enemy have uh, lots of water character, especially Usa, the Rupinus is one of the best choice. Still powerful. And Water Hell Lady. Water Hell Lady is released recently. As you see, she have uh, ignored the target death denier effect, and defeated target cannot be revived. So she's very critical. So if you died by her first skill, I recommend give up. Mm -hmm. And her second skill is each hit has a certain chance to silence and recover its HP based on its attack. I think this is a good skill, and also she looks sexy too. The next is Dark Pirate. He is a nice supporter who have a skill acceleration and skill deceleration by enemy. If you see my challenged arena video, I defeated by him miserably because of skill acceleration, the heal, remove all beneficial effect goes really really fast. It is very hard to make a kill. And the next is Water Ifrit. Water Ifrit was a decent dealer. After his passive change, his tier slightly goes up. Apply Endure and Attack Speed up except when it receives a lesser damage. But before, the Ignore Beneficial Effect attack can throw the Endure. So when he fights with the Wind Magic Knight, he dies really quickly. So after he revive, but his passive is already gone. So I don't recommend Water Ifrit before. But now, after the endurance is changed, he can survive really long time. He can make a lot of damage when his passive is activated. So as you can see, there is some water ifrit now. And you can see the wind panda. Wind panda first skill removes all harmful effect itself and continuous recovery and decreases the cooldown of wind and cloud. It is a counter attack speed and it is very lesser because this attack always applies as attribute advantage. I tried to kill the wind panda first but he used the calm mind, he removed all harmful effects and heal and used this wind and cloud and counter attack, counter attack, counter attack. My party member is all gone so it is very hard to fight. I reviewed the Challenged Arena defense deck within rank 20. There are some monsters not in here, but monsters in here, I can say it is very useful in PvE, uh, in PvP. So if you have these monsters, don't worry, raise it for PvP. And let's see the Brawl Arena rank. It is season 5 and it is ended, so my rank is 6, within 10th. Anyway, this is the Brawl Arena ranking. The ranking number 1 is uh, Light Kina, and the last time he used a party Water Vampire Hunter, Water Chimera, and Water Occult. Water Chimera is a very good tanker because it have a defense of himself and party member. And his damage is based on his defense, so he is very hard tanker and also can deal a uh, decent damage. And Water Occult is also nice healer. She can remove a harmful effect and her recovery is based on her HP. And she can also deal additional damage and defense down. And this is important. She can remove all this effect. This <laughs> party member is really really hard. And of course he's ranking number one. His party member have a very very high respect. And this is ranking number 2, Fire Death Queen. Although it nerfed slightly, but she is still a powerful dealer. She can steal all beneficial effect. She have a wide area skill, which take only mana 3. So if you use this skill first, you can apply silence to enemy when just games begin. This is my party member. I use Water Vampire Hunter, Light Mermaid, and Water Occult. I usually use these two members and of course, if I have a Dark Mermaid or Dark Undine or Light Pioneer, I will use that monsters but I don't have so I use a Light Mermaid. Although she doesn't have a remove harmful effect and she don't have resurrection but she have a shield and wide area heal and recovery receive up and damage taken down. So she's a very good healer in PvP. And this is a light Garuda. 
everyone knows it is good monster, but it's only necessary, so his stat is poor. He makes this party member to 2 resurrection and 1 dealer. So if you kill dealer first, resurrection, resurrection. When you kill 1 resurrection, but resurrection. So it is pretty annoying. If you have some skills which cannot be revived, it's pretty easy to fight, but if you don't have, it is pretty hard to fight. And this is a light priest. I really want to have her, but I don't have. She have a decent wide area heal, and also she can revive dead team monsters and apply the invincibility. Her second skill is only resurrection. So when your party member died, she used her second skill immediately. That is very good point. And these two characters, I already tell you. Unlike the challenged arena, the brawl arena ranking board just show you the recently used team member. So you can see these monsters. It is all good in PvP. So if you have, raise it for PvP. So I reviewed some monsters in ranker board in season 5 Korean server. I know that there are lots of monsters outside in ranking board, but you know, it is hard to tell which monster is good, which monster is bad, because it is depend on the combination of team member, Kina, Orbiar, Cliff, or team member. So, but I can make it clear to tell this thing. There are some monsters in ranking board now, these monsters are good in PvP or if you have one of these monsters, just raise it for your PvP. You guys want to ah which monster is one tier one and which monster is a tier two, but please understand it is ridiculous. If you want to go upstairs in PvP, just raise this character. I'm 100% sure you can't fail it. So thanks for watching and have a long look. Goodbye. Originally, I write some script and read it, but this time I just tell with no script. So please understand my English is poor.